Welcome back, everybody, to this war of mine. Erica is kind of lost in the dawn at the moment, unfortunately. She found just so many incredible things last night, but sadly they have remained with her. We just missed the window of opportunity to get out of the, uh, where did we go? I think it was the, the hotel, maybe, is where we ended up going? No, it was the construction site, that's right, because of the scaffolding and all those snipers around the area. So, that's unfortunate. We're gonna have to hope that that works out. It would be really bad if we lost all of the materials that Erica had gained, as well as the fact that Erica is one of our chief uh, sources of basically everything that we want. There's not really anybody else that I can rely on very heavily to scavenge that much, so hopefully she'll come back. I mean, oh my goodness, she's okay. She brought some interesting things good. Erica has returned and she got... Oh my goodness, seven food, a vegetable, three canned food, some moonshine, herbal medications, and medication ingredients, along with regular meds. Just an incredible find. We are in great shape, and Erica has returned. That is fantastic. I am so excited. Okay, so, Bruno has something on his mind as well. I used to be an optimist, one of these people who'd, who would have sworn that war wouldn't come. Wars happen far away in third world countries, or so I thought. Even while I was listening to the news or getting scarier day by day, I did not believe all this was about to happen. Well, I heard the door knocking, but no, Erica's just gonna gonna walk on in, right? She knows she lives here. Yeah, that's good. All right, she's back. Probably want to give her some rest. I don't know why Bruno's still resting. We can have Bruno start cooking up some meals here, probably for the best. And uh, I think Amelia rested. Yeah, so everybody's just hungry. Nothing else much going on. Of course, Erica needs a bit of a nappy poo as well, so we'll have her rest up here. And we'll probably just cook up four meals, and that'll take care of just about everything today. Not a lot of sources of fuel, sadly. Actually, that might prohibit us from doing what we really want to do here with the food. We have a lot of, uh... Well, you know what? This is starting to make me think I might want to lead toward eating the canned food right now, because we don't have a lot of stuff to make fuel. And we might come across that later. We might have someone come to the door again today. Of course, it's all completely random whether or not we get someone to trade with or somebody to come by and offer us some sort of other adventure or opportunity. So maybe we'll just feed these folks the canned food today. We'll have Amelia grab one of these, have Bruno grab one as well. I think that'll be just fine. They should do it one after the other, I don't imagine, or they're just gonna merge into one person. That seems like it'd be, actually, that seems like it'd be a much better use of resources if we could just do the fusion dance. Integrate some DBZ tactics into the This War of Mine Let's Play. That, that ought to cover everything, right? Alright. So these two are really great right now. They, they're in terrific condition. I couldn't ask for a much better situation at the moment. We got a lot of medication. We've got the means by which to make our own if we can find the resources for it. Lots of food. And we've built a couple of really good things. We could tr probably try to build a filter for the water. I'd really like to be able to trade for some components for some wood right now if somebody were to come by, but we don't want to rely on that, of course. Alright, looks like uh, Roman is well rested. He can go ahead and, you know what, let's go ahead and have him gra grab a canned food as well. You just go ahead and take a seat, Bruno. And let's have Amelia go down here. Let's see if maybe there's something on the radio that we could take advantage of. Any bit of information we can find on the radio, it may tell us about some kind of trade commodity that's going up in value. Might even go to the trade center and see what's going on there. Coffee is becoming less and less available in the besieged city of Pagorin. The prices of coffee on the black market are expected to rise. See, there we go. That's the kind of information we're looking for right there. Let's see if we can find anything else. Cool outside with clouds. Nothing doing over on this end either. This side of the dial doesn't usually prove fruitful. All right, that'll do. That's good information, though. Uh, that means, uh... Come on now. Come on, a little thing. If we happen to have an excess of coffee at any point, we'd be able to trade that for a whole bunch of value. They say these cans are quite nutritious. Well, apparently they're doing the job for you, Roman. Yeah, we're feeling good, though, man. I, I am really happy with this. Let's go down and see if maybe we can build something in the work workshop. Maybe a shovel or something like that. I don't think we have a shovel at the moment. Or do we? Let's have a look. We don't. Okay, so the shovel would be nice right now. I doubt that we have the components necessary for it. We're very low, in fact, on both of those things. Wood and component parts are in very short supply. That's the only big problem that we've got right now. And Of course, that's what's kind of prohibiting us from moving forward in progression here. Oh yeah, we did upgrade the metal workshop, that's right. So we could make a gun if we were to be able to find those weapon parts. 
But uh, the stove, I, I think I remember saying that the stove needed to be the big uh, thing that I focus on making next because I really don't want to let the cold start to negatively impact our progress here. Uh, of course, we can make fuel here if I really wanted to. Making a filter may not be a terrible idea, though. I'm pretty sure I don't necessarily need to have any more clean water at the moment, so maybe I'll hold off on that. Everyone's pretty well rested. The only hungry one, I believe, is Erica. She's just kind of napping while she can, I suppose. I could have Erica just eat some raw meat, but honestly, I think we'll just hold off until we get a little bit more stuff for fuel. I can make one fuel right now with the one piece of wood we have. In fact, I might consider doing that. Let's go ahead and do that now. And we could probably make a couple of good meals, but we don't necessarily need to do that today. Oh, apparently, oh no, there it is. All right, so we got the one, one bit of fuel there. Yeah, we don't necessarily need to feed Erica today. I think we can hold off on that until tomorrow, just assuming things are going to be okay otherwise. We'd only be able to make one meal at the moment, and I'd very much like to... Well, then again, we can make this and not use the vegetables, and then Erica could have her meal. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. That sounds like a fun idea. Just to have everybody fully satisfied across every spectrum. That's that's something that I don't think we'll ever experience again, so I suppose I might as well enjoy that while I can at the moment. And then other than that, we're in great shape. Just need to find a whole bunch of component parts. I mean... Here's the thing, I feel like we may be in a good spot to take some of our medications and all that sort of other stuff and go trade for a lot of components of wood out in the out in the marketplace. So that might be the the route I take tonight. Might be a trade heavy day because that would certainly help us out in the long run. I need to be able to get enough materials to build this uh, build this heater. So let's see what we need for this. Let's have a quick look. We need 18 components and 6 wood. It's really not that much. That's not that much at all. I think I can make that happen. And an herbal garden would be nice too. We could start using those fertilizers that we're seeing everywhere. That would certainly be helpful. A moonshine still honestly could be good too. We could trade that alcohol for uh, quite a bit of value. Hmm. Yeah, honestly I think components and wood are gonna be the, gonna be the big the big gain today. Now people have been telling me it's uh, supposedly possible to upgrade the carrying capacity of your characters here. I don't know, really know where that would take place. I don't know if that's like a workshop thing or if you can build a backpack or something don't starve style. That would be nice, but oh, we should probably consider boarding up some more as well, so maybe get a bit more wood. We'll see what options we have tonight though. I imagine there might be some new places tonight. No? Nothing? Alright, well that's fine. No worries there. So everybody's well rested. I feel like I might have two people stand guard tonight. Let's go ahead and have Erica scavenge again. Let's have Amelia sleep in the bed and then Bruno and Roman can stand guard. We've got one knife still, of course. So we have the option of going to the central square today to try to trade for a bunch of stuff. Not a lot of very good things there, sadly, but we have so much by way of valuable trade resources that I don't necessarily want to take a chance on somebody coming to trade tomorrow when I could easily just trade stuff today. Why trade tomorrow what you can trade tonight? So let's do that. Let's have everybody set up the way they are. Yep, that's good. That'll work. And we're going to start taking some of these things with us. I think the medication may get a lot more value than the herbal meds. So we'll take this. I want to keep the one bandage I have. I feel like that's probably necessary. And I'm going to take a couple of extra food because I think that would be a pretty good trade idea too. In fact, I could take a lot of food. Let's take three. Let's take three food at the moment, and then I'm going to grab this moonshine as well, because I think that'll be pretty valuable. And that should give us a lot of value. Actually, coffee is a good one to trade, too. You know what? F it. We'll take four. Because this isn't even amount here. This allows us to create six full meals with the six raw meat and the three vegetables, so that's a good amount to keep. Uh, and then we should be okay. So let's see what we can get out of this. This is going to be mostly trading. If I recall this area correctly... It's pretty much exclusively people looking to trade goods. And if I can find the right people to trade with, I'll get a lot of value out of these particular things I've brought. I think there's people that really want specifically medicine. There's people that want food. There's people that want moonshine. People that want cigarettes, everything like that. So hopefully we find a lot of uh, really good deals here. I can also just take a bunch of these components here. I mean, I honestly, again, I want to try to employ that uh, fill up your inventory on the off chance that the worst case scenario transpires. So... We'll do that this time around. Fill out this wood stack here, I'd imagine, with another one. And then I think the rest of the day is going to be occupied by trade. So, looks like we filled up on these stacks. I need one more piece of wood to fill that stack. Hopefully we'll get that opportunity. But for now, let's see what we can do. 
I believe he'll want to trade to start with. You need some materials, maybe wood. So he's got materials. We could probably get a lot of stuff from him. He's got a lot, actually, yeah. Uh, what is this here? A damaged helmet. We could repair that. He's also got a lot of fuel, which we can have for almost nothing. Quite common. Uh, the broken guitar apparently is going to cost us, which is interesting. Uh, let's see what he needs here. Very common stuff. He needs uh, the medicine. That is something he's definitely looking for. Uh, moonshine's pretty good value for him, and apparently... Oh, that's not, well, that's not very interesting, but we could probably trade this away. Gunpowder is a lot less valuable to us than probably components right now. But I might even be able to get a lot of fuel from him for the uh, gunpowder. Hmm. We can get two fuel. Let's. I think we can trade the meds. We'll trade this guy the meds, and then we'll probably get a lot more components out of that. Let's see here. Maybe I should take the broken helmet. Maybe that'll be good. I'm going to take a full stack of fuel. Maybe even two. Because that's pretty damn good, too. And then I want a lot of wood. Although I might not have enough room for this stuff. So this is the best I can I can get out of this offer here. But I don't think I'm going to be able to take it all. I'm pretty sure it's just going to tell me I don't have enough space in my inventory. Hmm. Let's see if I can make this deal. I'm interested to see what happens when I click. Because I don't know what the game is going to tell me. I can't carry that much. Okay, so we can't really do this right now. Maybe I should hold off on this. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. You know what? The helmet's probably not the greatest thing I can get. But the fuel is really good. So let's do this. And then maybe the guitar? Still a very generous offer. So we could take the, uh, we could take the broken assault rifle too. Hmm. Maybe the helmet. This is a deal. Okay, this is a this is a deal right here. I think I have enough space to carry this stuff too. I might just trade away the coffee. No, I can get better value out of that. Maybe I can trade. Okay, let's see. Let's try. You know what? I'm gonna skip on this guy for now. But what I think I need to do first of all, I need to drop a couple of these things to make more space because I don't I don't necessarily need to worry too much about having to run away from this area. So we're going to drop these few things. I'm going to be able to get them back in short order here, like, with no problem. I might have actually just completely gotten rid of those things, which is not a great idea, but... Oh, no, wait, they're right there to scavenge. Okay, so that's good. Let's go try other people before we uh, put all of our cards, or... Put all of our chickens in one basket with this dude right here. I think we'll have... I think we'll have better options moving through the rest of the town square here. Uh, this guy's got liquor. I don't think I want that. I don't know, I think I just pretty much want components and wood but the thing is it's so much better it's so much better to trade with the guy that comes to our house to get those things that I think maybe what I ought to consider doing while I'm out here is trading for stuff that I wouldn't normally find I think I need to take a chance on not having a lot of components of wood when I come back and relying on that guy to come by this guy needs some bandages. He he offers medical supplies, which we we don't really necessarily need. But we could try to see if there's a good trade value for that. We don't really need food either. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure what what to prioritize here. Which I suppose is a good position to be in because we don't necessarily need anything. Oh, this whole area over here, by the way, this is like uh This is barred off from entry. It's locked at the moment, and I guess this is just a, a society barred off from civilization. They don't really want anything to do with me. Not a good idea to go in there for now. If I really wanted to, I could try to sneak in and try to grab some stuff, but not necessary at the moment. You know what? Let's try to trade with these two people. Let's see what kind of cool stuff they might have to offer. And if if nothing else really looks that great, I may just take what I can get from the uh, from the guy with the guitar and the assault rifle. We might We might go that route. The guitar, honestly, may be a really, really helpful thing. Ooh, getting alcohol. Hmm. So, yeah. This is, uh, apparently the pure alcohol is less valuable to him than the already made bandages, so I might be able to trade to get this and then make my own stuff when I get back to the, when I get back to the house. Let's try to see if I can get this. So, let's see what he wants. Uh, he likes the moonshine, which is interesting to me. Of course, he's not going to be too interested in the medicine. He's not really digging that. The moonshine apparently is the most valuable to him. Maybe I can straight up trade moonshine for pure alcohol. I could probably give him coffee. That nah, not quite. 
That'll do it, but I kind of want to just give him the full stack and keep the coffee. Yeah. Yeah, this could work. Moonshine and gunpowder for pure alcohol. I can make a bandage out of that, and that gets me a lot more value. So let's do this. We'll call that good. I might be able to get more pure alcohol for the sake of food. Let's see if he's okay with that. Oh, that's moonshine. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. Uh, two food for an alcohol? That, that seems pretty good. Maybe we can get our gunpowder back, too. No, not quite. Yeah. I mean, I brought the I brought this food, I brought this excess food to trade it for more valuable stuff, and I think the pure alcohol turning into another bandage for me is probably in the long run better. Because I could trade the bandage again. If I have extra bandages, I can always trade those to get the stuff I need when the guy comes by our house. So we can do that. And I think I like that offer. So let's go with this. And let's go back. I don't think I talked to this guy. I'm pretty sure he's the one with the alcohol. And he may be interested in my medication. Because he, I'm, I'm guessing this guy has pure alcohol too. And if, if I can trade him meds for pure alcohol, that would work out. Yeah, he definitely does. Okay. He's got cigarettes as well. And he's got coffee too, which apparently is not, he has not caught on to the value of coffee at the moment. So maybe I should trade for a whole lot of this stuff. See how big of a stack of that I can get. Now let's give him the medication. Because we, we brought that for a reason, I guess. Uh, that's not going to cut it, but maybe if I give him some of this coffee back. That's a good deal there. Medication for alcohol, which seems like a weird trade. I'm mostly, I'm mostly trading for the value of coffee. But then again, maybe the coffee isn't what we need. What if I can get two alcohols for this? Let's see. Too damn impressive right now. I can get two alcohols for the medication. That's a really good deal. We can even get a couple of coffees for it. Maybe a cigarette too? Not quite. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that decision. Let's go with this. We got a lot of pure alcohol now, which we can bring back and make into a bunch of uh, better stuff. Let's have a quick look at our backpack. So we've got a lot of more room for stuff here. I could trade away these other couple of foods here and probably get just a whole bunch of components. Maybe, maybe fill up my pack with wood. Let's see here. Let's have a quick look. So I've got five slots. So if I trade away two food for 12 wood, I think that's worthwhile to me. Or I could go for the broken helmet of guitar. Let's see if maybe I can do this. That's a generous offer. I feel like the guitar might be worth it. So this is, uh... Yeah, this is okay. Maybe I can give him the coffee, too. Well, actually, I probably want the coffee. Let's keep the coffee. Yeah, this'll work. I'm okay with that. How about the alcohol? That's interesting to him. I don't think I want to trade this just yet, though. I, I, I'd like to keep the alcohol. I think it's a good idea. So let's do this. Well, no, I shouldn't do this because... No, this is a bad idea because I already have the wood available just to pick up. So I should trade him for things that aren't going to be common for me, like the... Well, I guess wood just turns into fuel, so that's not really that great. How about the helmet? Not quite. What if I give him coffee? There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is good. This is pretty good. Broken guitar, broken helmet. I can repair those eventually. And then hopefully what will happen is I'll get to interact with the uh, with the trader that comes by our place. And get a whole bunch of components of wood like that. I like that idea. Okay, so let's do that. And let's pick up the wooden stuff that we dropped before. We have pl plenty of inventory space again. So we'll take all this. And then we should be good. It's a pretty good day already. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking what happened this time around. I'm happy with this. This is a lot of really good things. Like, we can turn this into a lot more value if we need to. We also just got some stuff that ends up getting, being really good anyway. Alright. So let's stack this up. And that should be it. Yeah, we've got a lot less wood than components, but I think we need a lot more components anyway. We almost have enough components to make the, uh... To make the simple heater. I don't think we have enough wood still. Oh, man. I kind of wish I could get one more wood from somebody. Oh, well. This is okay. This is this is a really good day. I, li I like this. So let's do it. Let's call that good. And Erica will return safe and sound. Plenty of time to spare that time around as opposed to the last time. And unfortunately, guys, this is going to do it for today. This is a, uh, well, not, not exactly a short episode, but, you know, shorter than it's been. We're on to day 10. Things are looking good. And I'm really excited for the future. Thanks for watching this episode of This War of Mine. I'll see you next time.